In this live stream, we're going to be looking at how Skip James inspired my guitar playing. And um, yeah, hi everyone. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Um, it was a really nice day today in Berlin. Um, I'm based in Berlin. If you haven't heard of me, my name's Fabian Holland. I'm a guitarist, singer, and songwriter. Um, yeah, based in Berlin. And it was a lovely day today here. Uh, let me know what the weather is or was like wherever you are. Um, so today we're looking at how Skip James inspired my guitar playing. And we'll basically be covering, um, we'll be looking at, yeah, how, how Skip James inspired me. Um, it's not necessarily, won't be showing you how to play a Skip James song. Um, we'll be looking at a very specific song that I like to play. Um, by Skip James called Hard Time Killing Floor Blues um, and my interpretation of that and kind of showing you how how I go about doing that and how that then inspired uh, another song of, of mine um, yeah and kind of trying to get that feel of the song but anyway um, we are live so this is I think like the the fourth live stream I've done in a week so I'm really trying to do these um, every Saturday every Saturday at 9 p.m. local time that's Berlin in Germany and uh, you know we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes each time you know I press live it's it's always a little bit nerve-wracking <laughs> I thought I'd be a little bit calmer by now but you know um, Hopefully, you never know, you know, in a couple of weeks. Each week, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable, comfortable. A little bit more relaxed, you know. Ah, Jasper, hey, how's it going? Barcelona, cloudy, a bit chilly. Oh, no. In Barcelona, really? Yeah, okay. All right. Um, would not expect that. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, and let me know. Hold on, we'll start something here. Uh, yeah, let me know where you're joining us from. Let me know where you are joining us from. Uh, Jasper's already said from Barcelona. Um, that's really cool. And uh, yeah, just setting things up here. So, so I have multiple things on my screen. I should get two screens, really, because I have lots of different things. Um, yeah, so we'll be covering this. So let's look at Skip James and a brief, very brief history of Skip James, if you've never heard of him before. He's one of these pre-war blues guys, uh, born in Mississippi. Um, and, you know, he released a lot of his music in during the Great Depression, Um in I think 1931, he he started releasing music, um, and you know, for a lot of these guys, it wasn't uh, they never sold they never sold very well because it was kind of in the middle of a really really bad depression, obviously, um, and he didn't actually see success until later. Like a lot of these guys. Um, the ones that managed to to live that long um, saw saw their success in back in the fifties and sixties and the folk and blues revival, you know. Um, and Skip James saw this success, and he was playing a lot of uh, folk and blues festivals all over the place. Um, so that was it's really nice, you know, because you get to actually see him play. There's videos, you know, um, with the guys that didn't actually make it to the 50s and 60s. There's no videos of them playing, you know, because um, they all release their music back in, in the 30s or even 20s sometimes, you know, in the late 20s. But um, 
so you can only listen to their music but it's really i find it really inspiring to to be able to watch these guys play you know and seeing exactly how they play um and what drew me to skip was just his his he's got this amazing haunting uh hypnotic sound about him um and uh you know he's uh this is what initially kind of drew me to him and a lot of these guys i'll just turn on my my other mic here you know they're not they're not like uh 12 bar blues they um, you know they're not playing 12 bar blues typical stuff like none of that kind of stuff um it's a lot more it's a lot more freeing you know it's a lot more kind of free whatever they want to do um and a lot more kind of haunting and i really like that i really like that sound um and that's kind of what drew me to to skip james um ah we got some people here all right jasper again yeah uh, his, his guitar playing is noted for its dark minor key sound. Yeah, played in the open D minor exactly. Yeah, tuning with his intricate finger picking techniques. Some say, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He was quite. Um, I'd say he's quite a technical player. You know, he was doing a lot of slides and a lot of hammer ons and this kind of stuff, which um, you know, back in those days was was pretty technical. I think. Um, but yeah, he's he's definitely uh, one of these you know haunting players that's really uh, amazes amazes me when I when I listen to it. You know, it's a sort of it's a sort of music that you really need to just listen to in a dark room or a quiet room by yourself. You know, <laughs> with some whiskey or something. You know, it's um, it's one of these kind of things, and just let it soak into your bones. You know, this is what. Uh, this is what I feel that a lot of this you need to do, you know, um, to really feel feel this sort of music. Because uh, a lot of it, you know, was especially hard time killing four blues. You know, it, it's it, during the Great Depression and you can kind of feel that that sorrow and that kind of sadness of and the hard times um, through that that song for sure. Absolutely. Uh all right, it's been a wonderful spring day today in the south of Sweden. All right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love it. So, here we go. Let's move on. So, yeah, so basically, um, that's kind of what drew me to, to Skip James. Um and a lot of people have have kind of covered his stuff, and uh, a lot of great people have covered his stuff um, and done their own sort of interpretation of his of his uh, of this particular song as well. Um, but yeah, he he played in in D minor a lot. So I think this one, the Hard Time Killing Floor Blues, um, is what I'll be looking at, and it is. I'll be playing it in Dadgad, D A D G A D. Um, so you can imagine, like, this is the the D minor with that F. If I can put it in like this, so it would have sounded kind of like this, the way he Skip would have played it. Um, and he kind of the way he played it was in D in D minor. Uh, I play it in a different key, but he would play it like... Kind of like this, you know. And he actually, he would uh, sing it really high as well. <laughs> Probably higher than I can sing it. Um, I'll give it a try. Nah, it's hard times are Kind 
kind of like this. Uh, <clears throat> it's a little high for me. <laughs> he was a great singer. But yeah, this this kind of thing, you know, he would play in in D minor. Hold on, I'm a bit tangled up here. Oh, hold on, there we go. It's better. Yeah, so, but I'm playing it in Dadgad, so it's a little bit different. Um, but I definitely wanted to keep that same kind of feel, you know, the same the same kind of feeling that he does. Um, so. So I'm actually playing it in G minor here. Um, so I'm in Dad Gad, but I, I play it with the G here and I kind of go down like this. And um, definitely wanted to keep that same, yeah, as I said, the same same kind of feel that he has, you know. Um, also playing playing the singing melody on top as well. Kind of wanted to keep that. So uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and sing it for you, give it a play. Um, hey Jasper, you got a question. Uh, do you sometimes down tune one step and then do open tuning? Um, how do you mean? From from like from Dadgad? Or how do you mean? Um, or or do you mean from standard tuning, go down one step and then make it an open tuning? Um, yeah, if you could clarify that for me. I'll just do this song. Um, I tell you, what, I'll do this song, and if you have any more questions, just um, yeah, just drop them down below, and we'll do like a. I'll answer any questions um, after this song. Um, so yeah, it's hard time killing floor blues. Here we go. Times are here and everywhere you go. Times is harder than ever been before. Mm -hmm. People are drifting from door to door. Times will dive you in so low. Are you hear me singing all this lonesome song? He 
These hard times will last us so long You say you have money, boy, you better be sure. These hard times will drive you in so mm -hmm. Hard times are here and everywhere. Is harder than ever been before. Oh, you hear me singing all oh, this lonesome song? These hard times will last us so long. That was Hard Time Killing Floor Blues by Skip James. Um, I'm actually going to take my guitar back because I realized that I feel a little bit uncomfortable when I don't have my guitar on my lap. I start fidgeting and doing other stuff, but yeah. Um, so I change it around quite a lot. I'll just turn this back on. and. Because it's always when I'm not playing in open D, it's always a little bit more tricky. I mean, G minor, luckily there's a, a lot of open Ds, As, um, and Gs as well, obviously. But I still got to kind of be aware and be careful about what notes I'm choosing, especially when I'm improvising and going through these sort of bass lines. Um, but you see this a lot in my music that I like to use G minor and G major as well. G major is a nice one uh, in Dadgad. Um, but yeah, I use this a lot, this kind of going down this bass line. Um, but let's look at some questions now. Um, We'll have a look at the questions. Here we go. Um, yeah, so going back to, to Jasper's one. Um, yeah, I think um, I never really uh, down tune one step and then do open tuning. Um, Although I've heard of I've heard of kind of people doing that, yeah, but I've never tried that. Um, and we've got another one. Set this tuning, uh, like this tuning too. Cool. 
try to go down G to F sharp. Yeah, do you mean... So F sharp in Dadgad would kind of give me a... I guess a major, a major D, right? Um, if you could, if you could uh, say a little bit more on that, what do you mean by G going? Try to, try to, try to down G to an F sharp. Oh yeah, this G. Sorry, reading it, reading it wrong. I get it. Yeah. So that would give me sort of a major. Yeah, that's also nice. I like to use I like to use these sort of keys when I'm um, when I'm playing slide. You know, um, it's always really hard to to use a modal tuning like this um, with slide. You know, um, I find yeah. So I like to use these sort of these major and minor chords open tunings with like slide um, personally but yeah 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 this is uh, and going back to like what I'm doing here with the G playing in G minor you know this is something that's that comes up a lot in my songs uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah so and then I took that inspiration basically from and I wanted to kind of create a song um, that's also in the same key using this G minor and that's going to the the minor sixths the minor sixth and then uh, sorry the minor seventh and then the minor sixth um, in the key um, and I, I wanted to kind of give a, a similar feel as well. And this is kind of the song that I came up with. So that's kind of the the main the main riff by it. This is called called Cold Tea, um, and it's a song that I released on my my latest album. Um, but you know this this kind of moving bass line going down to the minor seventh and the minor sixth is used a lot, and I, I found out that um, a really really nice popular song uses this as well. Um, As my guitar gently weeps. Uh, by the Beatles. Um, see if I can play it. It's, uh, uh, here we go. He's good. Kind of similar thing going on. know so it's used a lot in in music um, and uh, you know I'm kind of using that hard times are here this this kind of but then I'm kind of changing it a little bit So anyway, I'm going to play this song now, um, Cold Tea, and uh, hold on, we have a few, uh, detune G in Dadgad to F sharp, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, that's what I thought, the Dad, 
dad fad dad d a d f sharp a d exactly yeah um yeah i do use that tuning as well that's really nice and d a d f a d as well um but as i say yeah i i use it a lot on my my lap steel i don't know if you can see that probably not um i use it on my lap steel a lot it's really nice um for slide you know especially if if it's not bottleneck slide but lap steel slide i find it's really nice really nice tuning so i'll play this one um and uh you know as i say it's it's kind of inspired by hard time killing for blues hopefully it's not taking too much off it <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'll play it and, uh, and then we can, we can kind of talk about it after. If you've got any questions or anything like that, um, just send them in and, um, and I can sort of ask them any, answer them after, after I play. All right, here we go. This is called Cold Tea. Cold and my feet have froze in this house. Gasped rose into my fear. I'm far too old to take this cold. The winter is near. Cold. 
Si has gone cold. The And that was Cold Tea from my uh, latest album, Under the Red Island Bakery. Um, now I'm going to keep my guitar. Here we go. Uh, yeah, like how you do the song, heartwarming voice and guitar playing. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Um, Last week's live stream, I did about how I leave all my mistakes in when I record. Um, and I made quite a big mistake in that. Hopefully, uh, it wasn't too obvious, but uh, <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was, it was okay. We'll see. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically um, what uh, what I wanted to talk about on the live stream. Um, let me know if you have any more questions or you know anything like this um, before we we kind of uh, end things here. Um, I was going to say, here we go. Yeah, so it's all about Skip James and basically how. How he uh, how he's inspired me and how he's very inspiration inspirational um, or was in his in his music and if you've never heard Skip James before then I would highly recommend um, checking him out and really just give give his music a good listen um, because the hard hard time killing floor blues you know was recorded I think in 1931. Um, during the Great Depression, and it, you kind of you you really feel it in this recording, you know. Um, as I said, you can really feel it in your bones, um, and that's uh, that's how I uh, feel about that. But um, yeah, so if anybody has any questions or anything like that, let me know. Otherwise. We will uh, be landing the plane soon. How long have I been? Okay. Just got lots of things on my screen. Um, yeah. So I hope that was was uh, somewhat informative. Um, as I said, we're doing this. Uh, I like to do these um, once once a week, every Saturday. Um, and I'm trying to do kind of different, uh, different themes for each, for each live stream. Um, some go on longer than others. Um, and I'm just kind of getting used to this and the, the, the format and the way I want to be kind of doing things. Um, and you know, it's interesting and see, seeing where this goes and, you know, it's a way that I can kind of turn up every every week and just go live and you know as I said at the start it's a little bit nervous every time I hit that go live button because uh, there's lots to think about and there's lots to not only the performance but what I'm talking about and it makes sure everything's going okay uh, on the live stream uh, like last week I for forgot to put the video on public and it was just private the whole stream <laughs> 
um, but you can watch all the replays and I'll just I'll just leave them up there on YouTube so you can just watch them whenever you want um, I won't take them down or anything like that but uh, yeah it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's interesting you know this whole live stream thing and I, I do really enjoy it um, and it's exciting to to see where it can go but mainly just to to chat with everyone my subscribers and everyone that kind of follows me um, because you know doing a YouTube uh, a very uh, a YouTube uh, polished YouTube video is um, you know I can edit out all the, <laughs> the mistakes that I make and all the these bits and things you know and the live streams is obviously very different and I can't edit out these bits and I don't want to you know um, I kind of want to be make it very real and honest and uh yeah and very very true and it it's a way that we can kind of chat as well you know um yeah just getting some comments in hey yeah uh, thanks for hard time kingfield boys you're welcome no worries no worries thanks a lot thanks a lot um is that uh, MK? Is that is that Michael? Um, sorry if it's not. I think it is. Um, yeah, you're welcome. It's it's um, it's a really it's a really nice song. I really like doing this song. So, you know, it gave me a chance to play it. Um, and as I said, I'll just say if if no one knows, um, you can. I'll put a link in the description down below. And you can sign up to my my community on my website and there you can kind of submit what you want to hear in the live streams so you can kind of put what what subjects uh, if you have a question any topic or theme um, that you would like to be covered and just to talk about you know because um, a lot of this you know I'm learning as well I don't consider myself like a, a an authority particularly here you know it's just my my mission with all this is just to create a really nice community with people that have the same kind of interests and, and musical values as me and um, this is just this is this is what I want out of this um, and and uh, you guys being here is, is kind of part of that you know uh, and talking about things and discussing and I'm hoping to learn as much from you as you from me you know so we can learn from each other so that's that's my whole goal with with all this that I'm doing here um hey Angus how's it going um hi from a Angus says hi from a cold gray England <laughs> finally made it live <laughs> Hey, have you just joined us? We're actually, I'm actually landing the plane now. I'm actually uh, <laughs> ending things. Um, I can't see where, how long I've been going. Like, it's a fairly short one today. It's a fairly short one. Um, I think, can't tell how long I've been going. I uh, like, like around 40 minutes or something like this, right? Um, yeah, so, but if you want, you know, if you want to uh, hear any particular songs, um, any themes, anything like that, like I said, uh, just you can drop it in the in the live stream section on the community group. Um, and you know, I'm just I'm just kind of trying the these different formats of looking at a particular subject and kind of going over it. And um, it's also kind of it's a bit more interesting for people watching this on the replay as well. You know. Um, yeah, so thanks everyone so much. Um, we'll be doing it live again next Saturday uh, at 9 p.m. Berlin time, um, and that's 8 p.m. UK time as well. Um, and yeah, so hope everyone has a wonderful evening, morning, day, wherever you are. Um, we'll do. I'll tell you what, I'll do I'll go a little bit longer because Angus just joined us. Um I'll just uh I'm just freestyling here. If you have any more questions or anything you want to kind of just 
talk about or jot down, then uh, you know you can do that. I'll do um, I'll do something. I don't know what I'll do. We'll do something before we end. Uh, uh, Forty minutes, and I arrive in the last five. Angus says. <laughs> All right, we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do something. I'm not sure what we'll do. Oh, by the way, I've got, um, got myself a new tuner, actually, just to, just to change the subject a little bit. It arrived today so I could uh, try it out. It's a Snark, these Snark tuners, but it's a Snark Air, it's called. I don't know why they call it that, but it's basically, it's like you touch it to turn it on. It's a really fancy sort of thing, but it's, it's, you um you you it doesn't take batteries you charge it you know usb charged um it's really nice because it's very very discreet and i don't like like i got these tuners here these ones here and these things always break on me and falling apart and stuff um and they kind of you know if you have these hanging on the edge there they always just look a bit odd to me and they're not very discreet and it's you know a little bit ugly um but this this one here you know it's very very kind of discreet i don't think you can see that um you know you can barely see it and obviously it's just kind of there on the back but snark air it's very nice anyway i thought i'd just mention that um Angus says, you're making me feel guilty. <laughs> Sorry to arrive late. Be earlier next week. Ah, oh, no worries. No worries, Angus. No worries at all. Um, just, I'm just thinking about what I can play. What I can play. Um, I'll, end, I'll end with this. I'll do... I haven't played it in years. It's, uh, it's a piece from my... Um, uh, it's a piece by my old guitar teacher called Eric Roche. Um... And if you haven't heard of Eric Roach, then uh, go and check him out. It's Eric R O C H E, and he's one of these uh, modern percussion style players. But um, you know, he took a lot of influence from from folk as well because you know he's from Ireland and he had that whole kind of uh, background as well. But um, yeah, he's an amazing, amazing guitarist. He also played loud and guitars as well. Um, and this is a song of his called Angel. I don't know if I can play it. We'll see. We'll see. I'll give it a go. I haven't played it in years. We'll see.
just about played it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, great to, to see you all. Thanks so much for, for joining the live stream. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want to, whatever you want to see for the next live stream, uh, just drop it in the, the submission form whenever you want. Um, and I'll try and put it in the next live stream. All right, that's it from me. Thank you so much. And see you next week. Bye.